Welcome to the first official company review on the Nebralian Company Review channel. Today, I am going back to my roots on the channel where I ask the question, does CenturyLink suck? Well, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper and ask the question, is CenturyLink, aka now Lumen, a good place to work? This is the full form video and it will get split into three different videos. This full version and then two shorter versions that will focus on why people like the company and why people quit the company. If you watch this video, if you're here now, now, then it's not really necessary to watch the two follow-up videos. Obi, Juan Kenobi, please hold me, don't show me, Obi. CenturyLink, formerly known as Central Telephone and Electronics Inc., Century Telephone Enterprises Inc., CenturyTel Inc., and now Lumen Technologies, was officially incorporated on July 5th, 1873, and currently employs over 40,000 people. The big thing that Lumen is known for these days, besides changing their name every decade, is being an internet service provider. When it comes to the major job posting sites, this company currently has an overall rating of 3.5 on Indeed and 3.3 on Glassdoor. This places it as a pretty average employer. Nothing really stands out here. Like most jobs out there, it's not the one that you're looking to join just because of the name or the company itself. It's really just a place that you apply at because they're hiring and you need a job. So, what are the determining factors for why people quit or stay at a job? When looking at any company, you want to break it down to five categories. Work-life balance, pay and benefits, job security and advancement, management, and culture. Job sites like Indeed do a wonderful job of rating companies by these categories. And out of these categories, pay and benefits were the highest rated at 3.7, and job security and advancement was the lowest rated at 2.9. What this tells me is that the company is pretty average compared to other employers when it comes to pay and a little below average when it comes to job security and advancement opportunities. But to get a good idea for the reasons people are quitting a company, you should really focus on the bottom two categories. At Lumen, those are management and the job security and advancement opportunities. And if you think about it, I mean, this really makes a lot of sense. If you've heard the saying, people don't quit companies, they quit managers. There is a lot of truth behind that saying. What we're seeing in the numbers is a lot of mediocrity. And if you're working for a mediocre manager, then you may start to feel like the opportunities for you to excel in your role are limited. Now, what happens a lot of the times with companies like this is it's very hard to find managers. There's a lot of stress involved and most of the times the pay really isn't worth the stress. So what companies will end up doing is keeping a bad manager on board because it's much harder to fill their position than it is to fill yours. Unfortunately, what ends up happening is a bad manager will stay on for longer than they should, even years sometimes, and it eventually will have to take enough people quitting or for them to finally do something stupid enough like harassment to be replaced. This is way more common in the workplace than it needs to be. As far as the advancement opportunities and job security, this is definitely where things are going to vary from position to position. From what I saw in reading reviews, it was generally the ground troops, the technicians, customer service, sales and call center positions that were the most vocal about job security. And a big part of that is meeting the goals set forth by the company. What people felt like they were up against most were unrealistic expectations and pushy sales. The complaints that stuck out to me because of my personal experience with this company as a customer was about pushing add-on sales and upgrades to customers that call in for support. People will call in for a billing issue because they are having, or maybe they're having some technical issue. And in the customer service role, it was their job to still try and sell something to the customer. And if they didn't, you know, if they didn't hit the required amount of upgrade sales, then they were reprimanded. This would drive me nuts. I mean, in both cases, if, if I were hired into a role that is supposed to be customer service and then told that I needed to hit sales targets, or if I was hired in a sales role and told that my customers were going to be unhappy people calling in about a complaint for their service, you know, I would be upset at both of these things. They're already calling because they're upset with your services. I mean, who in their right mind thought this would be the perfect opportunity to upgrade you to higher speeds or a landline phone? <laughs> so I've, I've picked a few one-star reviews to see what people were saying about why they hated this company. Let's go over those. Don't, from a service and repair technician out of Omaha, Nebraska, they will do whatever they can to get rid of you before you make it to one year. Extremely poor management resulting in most employee being fired or quitting within months. Nearly 300 people left this position in one year I was there. 
Bad place to work. Broadband technician from Glendale, Arizona. Don't apply here. They threaten layoffs multiple times a year. They don't care about employees or their mental health. They have zero respect for the technicians who helped through the pandemic because they only care about the bottom dollar. Workday from a customer care and sales associate out of Phoenix, Arizona. You get incoming calls about billing and somehow, some way, you have to convince customers to buy something from you. As soon as you realize how the system works and how bad they are scamming customers, then they try to give you every reason to leave the company and they actually start writing you up. Not a very productive or fun workplace from a retention specialist out of Phoenix, Arizona. Now, this is saying a lot considering some of the difficult companies I've worked for, but CenturyLink is hands down the worst place I've ever worked. Not only are the sales goals ridiculous to meet, especially in retention capacity, whose aim isn't even to retain customers, but only to force additional products onto them, but the management and training team were in many cases extremely unprofessional to both customers and representatives alike. And considering their massive turnover rate, it doesn't surprise me at all. I literally made myself sick working there and am glad I left to pursue better opportunities elsewhere. This one is called Call Center from a customer service associate out of Leesburg, Florida. It wasn't the best place I worked. They focused more on sales than they did customer service and you would be dinged for not meeting your sales goals, even though it was a customer service position. And finally, shady sales practices encouraged from a customer service representative out of Jefferson City, Missouri. If you are willing to sell your soul for a bonus check and lie to customers, you will do great here. Stressful days, micromanagement, and angry customers all day, every day. Then they try to buy you off with sales contests for CenturyLink t-shirts. All right, so now we're going to take a look at what people liked about CenturyLink. For this, we're going to visit the top two categories. In this case, the two highest categories are compensation benefits and work-life balance. For the most part, people are happy with their pay and the amount of hours they put in. Keep in mind, the overall rating for this company sits right at about average. What I mean is that it's not the highest paying company comparatively to, say, other jobs in the same field. But they aren't on the level of retail and food worker positions. Ideal for people fresh out of high school or college with communication skills and maybe a little sales skills as well. But for the most part, People who liked working for the company felt that their pay for the position they were in was nearly above average. 3.7 isn't terrible. It's high enough rating where the majority of the people who liked the job felt like it was decent. I also understand that CenturyLink had a lot of positions within the company that allow for flexible schedules. Uh, another thing people enjoyed about working there. Here are some five-star reviews that stuck out to me, so let's go over those. All right, this one, benefits from a service technician in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The medical benefits are very good as well as the pay. The training is good and management is very supportive and anxious to help with the job training. Pay is equal for all. It is equal across the board. Productive and fun work environment from an account manager inside sales out of Apopka, 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 Florida. We'll just call it Apopka. CenturyLink was a great place to work at. Good salary plus commission with each sale you make from internet, phone lines, websites, and different add-on applications. Supervisors and coworkers are all good people. You can have fun at the call center and still continue and still continue to be productive. The atmosphere at the call center makes you want to come to work and do great for your teammates. All right, next one is best job ever out of a customer service and sales associate from Jefferson City, Missouri. Best job ever. I certainly would not have left other than I had to relocate. Salary plus commission. Great training. You get what you put into it. The incentives are plenty and make for a great paycheck. Okay, so way through CenturyLink from an inquiring sales associate out of Phoenix, Arizona. CenturyLink is a wonderful company to work for. They are very flexible with hours and there is ways where you can always move up within the company. Great benefits and easy access to work. Management was very strict on numbers, so you do have to sell. And finally, a very fun place with company provided lunches or dinners often from a business sales representative out of Mansfield, Ohio. 
It was a pleasure working at CenturyLink. They've had flexible schedules and requesting off days for either vacation or other reasons was not an issue. The management and people were very polite and enjoyed spending my work hours with them daily. Well, isn't that nice? So here's my take on it. And for legal reasons, I do need to let you know that anything I say is based on my opinions gathered from online research. I am not making the claim that my reviews are the facts. However, I will never make up blatant factual inaccuracies to make a business look bad. I am using the same online information that everyone has access to, and I encourage you to do your own research and draw your own conclusions. With that said, CenturyLink, which is now Lumen, is going to be your typical corporate employer. It will work for some, but for most people coming in on the ground level, this will not be something for the long haul. This is going to be a job with very high turnover in their ground level positions. We're talking sales, customer service, and the installing or broadband technicians. This is going to be a job that will offer decent benefits to its full-timers. I'm sure the PTO and health benefits are adequate and probably some advancement opportunities as well. Uh, with a company this size, I mean, there's always room to grow, but the question you will end up asking yourself is how much am I willing to put up with? You will be up against some aggressive sales goals. This is a very corporate company. You know, Increased sales will be the number one focus, and if you don't hit them goals, then you will be coached, and by coached, I mean you will be written up. So how would I rank it? I am going to put it right at a 3.0 out of 5. There is nothing special about this company. It's just another place where you can throw a rock in any direction and hit some corporate head who's spitting out numbers. Would I recommend this company? I would say yes if you are building your resume. If you just graduated and are looking for work to get yourself to the next step in your career development, then go for it. You'll gain some skill. You know, you'll gain some sales skills, some customer service skill, which is very valuable. As far as the long term, one thing you'll have to keep in mind is that CenturyLink, or now Lumen, has a terrible reputation for the services they provide. It's one of the worst rated companies I've seen so far. A lot of people hate this company. Capital H hate this company. Me being one of them. I will never use their internet services again. And when something is this terribly bad, it points to an internal problem. This company seems to be rotting from the inside out. The pushy, even deceptive sales tactics that were described in past employees' reviews made a lot of people feel uncomfortable in their role with the company. But don't get mad at me. I am just reading what people said. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have worked for CenturyLink or Lumen or any of their former companies, then I'd love to hear about your experience. Use the comment section to write your own review. Let me know why you loved or hated your job at CenturyLink. Please stand by for a message from the president of the company. Greetings, humans. My name is Nasaj. But my friends refer to me as the Nebralian. I know, weird, he's got a tie on, am I right? But look, I'm going to be straightforward with you Earthlings. I mean, your governments aren't even denying the fact that I'm here anymore. <laughs> the jig is up. So yes, the rumors are true. We are taking over your world and using your bodies as vessels for our offspring. Although we will be keeping some of you around to provide essential services such as DoorDash and Netflix. Which reminds me, if you do want to remain alive after the full invasion, then please let us know. You can register here on the Nebralian channel by hitting that subscribe button and punching that bell for future notifications. Only Nebralian subscribers will be spared. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. I ride a hippopotamus. You can ride my hippopotamus.